Ladies and gentlemen, children of all sizes and ages, welcome to the great one and only legendary Masters Legacy YouTube channel. Today we are back with some Friday the 13th content for you guys. Now there's a lot of news today, but before we get into that, I want to tell you guys that I will be streaming today if everything goes right. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to stream today. If I do, make sure to stop by. Now let's get right into the news. The timestamps are here. If you guys want to just skip straight to whatever part you want to see, then you guys can go and do so. I will be doing this in my future videos as well. Chad Shotgun there, Crazy Ralph there, Double XP there, and New Roy skin here. So make sure you go to those if you just want to skip through it. Other than that, let's get into it. All right, so for the chat shotgun, we have this little gif that they posted or gif, however you guys want to call it. Don't bash me down in the comment section, please. However you guys pronounce it, however you guys want to say it, G-I-F. We have a new one that Friday the 13th posted. I thought this was pretty funny. They said they messed up and uh, he throws a throwing knife and the chats just fly everywhere. Imagine the fucking thunder gun coming to the game. That'll be hilarious. Now, anyways, on to the next piece of news. Double XP weekend is coming. Double XP weekend starts March 9th and ends March 12th. It's a long weekend, double XP and CP. So not only is your XP getting doubled, your CP as well. This should be a lot of fun if you guys been meaning to grind before the new update coming in April minimum uh make sure to start grinding this week it's gonna be lots of fun i mean if you guys need a team if you guys play on ps4 make sure to add me we'll probably be streaming later on today hopefully if everything goes right and uh yeah sorry that i haven't been uploading but double xp weekend double cp weekend make sure to take advantage of it march 9th is today the day of this upload so yeah i'll see you guys out there now we want to talk about the new roy that's coming to the game i mean obviously it's still the same roy it's just a new skin to him so obviously in the movie, it seems like he wears a greenish one. And then at the same time, some scenes he's wearing like a bluish one. So uh, they kind of just put both of them so that people don't argue about it. I mean, there was a lot of people arguing about this and that and this and that. So, I mean, it's pretty cool that they actually just add both of them and that they're trying to, you know, please the F-13 community. They're also trying to please the fans of the film, the fans of the whole franchise. And, and they want to make it as realistic as possible, at least as, as close to the film as they can. Obviously, it's based off the films. So I think it's really cool that they're adding both of these costumes. I can't wait. And plus, it's just free bonus content for us. So there's nothing that we can really complain about, right? Now, another thing that I wanted to bring up in my comment sections, I've been seeing a lot of like, instead of focusing on new maps, instead of focusing on new content, they should just focus on the glitches and the bugs and stuff. Well, they are working on a lot of stuff that's going to fix bugs and glitches and stuff. They're working on a new engine that should be coming out minimum in April and a whole bunch of new updates that are coming with that. So I think that they're working on both. At the same time, they want to fix their game and give us new content. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be the same game, even if it is fixed with less bugs. So I think adding new content as well. I mean, I don't know how they're splitting it over there. I don't know how many people are working on what, but I do know that they're working hard and we have to appreciate that. That even with a small team, they're giving us a lot of free content and they're honestly working hard on their game. Now let's move on to Crazy Ralph. Now Crazy Ralph, Ralph was the very first person to warn people about the dangers of being in or around Camp Crystal Lake after its closure in 1958. But because his reputation was soured by drunkenness and presumed madness, nobody ever listened to him and his warnings. As it turned out, Ralph's warnings were right all along and as a result of the people being around the accursed camp, many lost their lives over the period of the three bloody decades. He was the first doomsayer to be slain by Jason and he is also Jason's first known victim to be killed at Camp Crystal Lake. Now, I mean, Ralph is a really cool character and a lot of people want him in the game. Unfortunately, though, Ralph most likely will not be coming to the game. As you can see here, Hobbs tweeted out, uh, nope, sorry to disappoint after somebody tweeted to him asking, will we ever get Crazy Ralph as a counselor in the game? Sometimes the F-13 devs tend to play around, but I think this one's more serious. It, it seems like he's not coming to the game, but at the end of the day, he could just be throwing us a curveball. And then all of a sudden we have Crazy Ralph in the game. I don't see why we won't be able to get him. I mean, I, I believe they have the rights to him. So, I mean, it seems like everything's great. It's possible. But you never know. Maybe by the end of the year, maybe when they have less DLC like already planned, they'll start thinking of maybe adding Crazy Ralph to the game. So either way, that'll be really interesting. That'll be lots of fun. And I mean, I would love Crazy Ralph to come into the game. It'll be really cool because all their counselors have like the little line as soon as you got it. And I think it'll be pretty cool because every counselor has like their line when they first start the game, right? Like she go AJ goes, I got to get out of here now or something. Crazy Ralph could be like, this camp has a death curse, I have to get out, or something like that, just to bring back that nostalgia feeling and that feeling of the movie, you know? I think that'll be pretty cool. I hope it does happen, and if it doesn't, then, I mean, too bad, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did learn something new today, or if you guys did just enjoy me telling you guys the news, sorry that I don't feel that well today, so I'm not too hyped up. 
but this is actually really exciting news for me. Other than that, what am I? I'm just rambling now. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a legacy. <laughs>